In today's video, we're going to find out, will Tesla Autopilot run me over? And in order to do this safely, I've got a special guest, ladies and gentlemen. Who's this handsome little fella? That's right, it's me. We're going to plonk this guy in the road, and I'm going to drive towards him on Tesla Autopilot and Tesla Cruise Control and find out if he gets run over or not. This video is sponsored by Honey. Let's get into it. Okay, very first test that I want to do is make sure that this cardboard cutout is seen as a real human being on the Tesla Autopilot. And do you know what? Becky's placed it in the middle of the road. We could already see right there that there is a little human. It's spotted him from a great distance away. And <laughs> it looks so weird as I drive towards him. There is a little human Jack just stood staring back at me. That's so weird. I'm curious if I keep driving towards him, will it beep or anything? Just gonna keep going. Yeah, it's beeping at me, it's beeping at me. It told me to stop, but it didn't take over in any way. I'm the person that broke there. But yes, there's our little cardboard cutout friend. Okay, so now that we have seen that the cardboard cutout definitely shows up on the screen as a human, I'm gonna just manually drive towards him at about 20 miles an hour and see if it gives us any kind of warning. So let's drive towards him and see what happens. Here we go. We're approaching at 19, 20 miles an hour. I'm getting very close to him. Yeah, it's beeping, it's beeping, it's warning me. He went in red, got very scary. Oh my God, it got quite intimidating the way he's walking towards me. <laughs> it beeped at me, Becky. It got very angry. So I think what we need to do now is get onto an actual real road so that we can engage cruise control and autopilot and then see if the car will automatically stop for us or not. Okay, next test is the cruise control test, which is the same as Tesla Autopilot, other than you retain control of the steering wheel. So Becky's setting him up in the distance. We can already see a little man. Time for our cruise control test. Here we go. I've turned cruise control on. We're engaged. He's in the middle of the road. So the car is currently automatically speeding up to 30. But wait, it's stopping. It's slowing down. It sees him in the middle of the road. So while I'm still on cruise control, if I turn, no, it's not gonna go around him. What if I try and turn this way? Still not going around him. We're still technically on cruise control. So if I press the accelerator, what does he do? He stops. What if I turn and press the accelerator? Can I go around him on cruise control? Yes, yes I can. What if I swerve into him? Oh, it stops. <laughs> okay, what if I go around again? Oh, and then I swerve into him. Whoa! <laughs> there we go, we got around him. And is it stopping? It's continuing. That was really epic. I like that. Yeah, that's really impressive. And now it continues. We have successfully not run myself over. Excellent news. <laughs> I'm turning around and I'm going to do that again because this side of the road is actually a 60 zone as opposed to a 30. So we'll be approaching on cruise control at a much greater speed, which is very exciting. Potentially, there's a very handsome gentleman who is about to get run over and I'm excited about it. All right, here we go. We're in a 60 zone now. I've turned on cruise control, so I still have control of the wheel. We are approaching the little fella is set up in the middle of the road. We're currently going at 35 miles an hour. Oh my god, Becky, get out of there. But it's already slowing down for us. It saw both Becky and the cutout, and now it's stopping at a nice safe distance. So let's find out. If I press the accelerator and I just keep heading towards him, then what's going to happen? <laughs> it beeps for us. That's me pressing the accelerator. Oh, we've hit him. <laughs> oh my god, is he all right? No. Oh god, I'm stuck. No. I thought I was in reverse. He's already dead. <laughs> okay, so on cruise control, it will stop. But if you then tell the car, actually, I would quite like to run this person over, it will just happily do that for you. How's he doing? Is he is he okay? He's got bird poo on him. Oh, that's so sad. Well, don't, oh, touch don't touch it. it. Why was I going to touch it? <laughs> okay, we've got more tests to do. But first. Let's hear it from today's sponsor. Good idea, Jack. Good idea. <laughs> Hello. Just like me, would you prefer to have slightly more money rather than slightly less money? Yes? Well, pay attention. My mum's always dreamed of going in a hot air balloon. So for her 60th birthday, we decided to book her a hot air balloon flight. However, it was over 300 quid for the three tickets. But then just as I was about to check out, this little dancing fella popped up out of nowhere. He says he's found us two coupons. So I click apply coupons. It does a bit of magic. And before I know it, I've saved 30 quid. This is because I've got honey, which is always working hard to find you coupons when you're doing online shopping, which is particularly important at this time of year. When you get to the checkout, honey will automatically look for the best coupon codes they can find. So you you don't have to do anything. Those of you who have already downloaded Honey with my link and used it have found over $51,000 worth of savings, which is crazy. And it proves it works. So yeah, if you want to get Honey for yourself, head to joinhoney.com slash jmw. Thank you so much, Honey, for all of your support this year. 
All right, welcome back. Can you see me? It's kind of dark behind me. All right, the next test I want to do before full autopilot is just drive towards the big lad really, really quickly. I'll leave enough time for me to swerve around him, obviously, if it's safe. But I want to see how early the car's going to beep and warn me that there's an obstacle. All right, we're going for it. I'm approaching at speed. Here we go. <laughs> oh, I blew him over. I don't know if you caught that in the rear mirror. But me driving past blew him over. <laughs> So yeah, it beeps, it warned me he was there, but it didn't do any automatic stopping for me, which is kind of what we're looking for. Hi everyone, welcome to the less glamorous side of YouTube. Our cardboard cutout, since I slightly ran him over, keeps falling over, so we're weighing him down with my boots. <laughs> is that going to do anything? Yeah, why not? Alright, here we go, it is time for our first full autopilot test on a main road. Very excited for this, obviously we picked out somewhere nice and quiet and safe. Autopilot is on, we're approaching, our speed is currently increasing, we're at 40 miles an hour, there he is. We're at 42 miles an hour, oh my god, we haven't stopped, it's breaking, whoa, whoa! Oh, whoa, 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 full emergency stop. It got very intense then. <laughs> oh so my fast. God. <sighs> I'm stressed. <laughs> it was accelerating for a long time when he was like pretty close, but then it managed to stop at a safe distance with an emergency stop. So I'm impressed. I would like to try that again, I reckon. I'm going to turn around. So we're doing exact same location as before. I need to put the car into park because otherwise the car will be angry at me and won't let me turn autopilot on again because it had to do an emergency stop. But if you just put it in park for a second, it forgets all about that and it just lets you turn autopilot on whenever you want. So this time I'm gonna accelerate a little bit faster and now I'm gonna turn autopilot on, there we go. So we're heading about 10 miles an hour quicker. So this is, oh my God, I'm quite scared. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> An even more intense emergency stop there, Becky. Oh, God, it, it makes you feel quite scared. I'm not going to lie. Even though he's just a cardboard cutout. Oh, God, that's absolutely crazy. So I think now let's do it again. But this time, no autopilot, no cruise control. I'm just going to approach it at about 50 miles an hour. And let's see if when I'm in control, the car will take over. Because that's something I'm yet to experience in this Tesla. I'm actually a little bit nervous because it's quite, <laughs> it just feels really scary when it does that harsh stop. So, no autopilot at all. I'm going to 40 miles an hour. We'll get up to 50 and let's see what it's going to do. So, it's not seeing him yet. It's, it's telling me, it's telling me, it's telling me. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> oh yeah please save that on the sentry cam thanks i'll need that in court brilliant <laughs> oh my god how's he look is he all right <laughs> oh, joke. i'll reverse <laughs> oh my right. god oh he's fine so it saw him and it did break for me i didn't press the brake once there oh he definitely looks worse nah he's all right <laughs> he's okay he's got a wobbly little finger that's so sad well there we go that was a really interesting test so on this occasion the car did break for me even though i wasn't on any kind of autopilot however it did not break in time we we probably would have killed him there in all fairness to the Tesla, this particular road did have a bit of a bump, so he had less time to spot him. So I think if we were on a completely flat road, it would have taken over in time. But also, it did give me warning. So I suppose in reality, I would have pressed the brake after the warning, if for some reason I still hadn't realised. But yes, an interesting experiment. Thanks to Becky and our guest for the help with this video. <laughs> he looks okay. And yeah, hope you all have a nice Christmas. See you next year.